All right, here's a little review of the boosted sandbar project. We haven't really done a full walk around. It's kind of just been a whole bunch of short videos. So we'll try to explain a couple things in the video. And this is EFI conversion. So we have the fuel rail. That was custom CNC'd out of just a block of aluminum. We cut four bongs and CNC'd them, and then four holes into the intake manifold. Welded them in. Then we made a plate right here, and it connected a Mazda Miata throttle body. air intake temp sensor and down here is the crank trigger wheel we machined a block of aluminum like a puck to fit inside of the pulley and then bolted it with the two bolts then we made the bracket for the crank sensor with just the right distance apart. This is a very critical part. This is pretty much telling when the injectors fire. For right now, we don't have ignition set up yet, so it's stock ignition. And then we have the turbo. I put this heat blanket on the top here. We had so much heat coming from the turbo, I had a plexiglass cover here, and it was melting the cover. We don't have an intake yet. I'm trying to figure out a way to get the intake back there. Blow off valve, fuel pressure regulator back there, boost controller. Uh, what else do we got over here? We have the exhaust set up to a straight dump two inch to a muffler a little mounting point here a little tip the header comes down we have a vent here I have the return line going back into the valve cover which there is crankcase pressure so we have a vent here then we have a vent coming off the PCV to a vented catch can here Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Mm. Let me see. Am I missing anything else? Not sure. Here's where we put the intercooler. Battery, intercooler. Fuel pump. So... We had to put these in here for the wires to come out because before the fuel pump, it's probably still hanging. I got it. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, the old fuel pump's still there. So there was never an in, in tank fuel pump. So we made the plate and then attached a fuel pump into here, put a hose perfect distance, and I still managed to wire in the fuel level sensor the wires come out for the level sensor and the fuel pump and the feed we put a feed we welded that onto there that goes into the top of the fuel pump the feed comes down to a filter and then to our fuel pressure regulator Bam. that was that was not a fun fun part and then you have the brain of it we did a mega squirt we did this little mounting bracket this is all your relays and fuses for the injectors the fuel pump and all this comes on when you turn the key on you'll hear the fuel pump but if it doesn't see the crank signal it shuts it off immediately so you're not running the fuel pump 
we 3D printed this. So we have just the right amount of fuses and relays we need because this never came with an ECU. So this is pretty much all wired. We dyno matted everything just to try to keep some sound. It's, it's loud inside. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get a peek at the inner cooler. Yeah, okay, so that's what we did for the inner cooler setup, which I'm not really liking it. I'm gonna try to get a bigger inner cooler that sits here straight across and these pipes just come straight out to it and it's big gets all that airflow coming in from underneath the the truck uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting something but I guess we'll do a little sound clip for you we did a digital dash gauges still works ice cold good idle oh might have just had too much fuel just dumping it in Doesn't even sound that loud. If you have any questions, just ask away. We might be making a couple intake manifolds, which would help out a lot of people. But let me know if you have any questions. 